Yeah, Richie Ahmed, Chairman of the Cape York Land Council. The Cape York Land Council was established 30 years ago to the Shia. And it, 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 is, it is actually a national native title council, land council, that gets, acquires land back for traditional owners, who we represent, and business opportunities. Our boundary is from Mosman, across to Kawanyama, right up to the tip. That's the land council boundary. I think we started with TMR 2015. We did a heads of agreement in Keynesia when the first announcements of the money that was put aside for the PDR in Cape York. The current projects we're working together with DTMR is mainly new section, building new sections, bitumen sections on the Peninsula Development Road. And I think there's some cultural heritage involved also. Oh yeah, there's been a lot of projects that have stood out to me and the people we represent. You know, this has been a magnificent, a magnificent relationship with DTMR. Otherwise, we would never have had these opportunities if it, if it wasn't for the relationship with DTMR from the highest level down to the, re, the reception at, receptionist at 1 William Street. Well, as I said, you know, we never ever had this opportunity in Cape York. I can only talk about Cape York because that's the area we represent, but We've never had this opportunity until they announced a couple hundred million dollar funding for the PDR. And it was then that we thought, well, we're going to try and get some contract opportunities for our people in Cape York, because we were never ever involved on the PDR. I don't think I could put a value on the relationship. I really don't think I could. Personally, you know, there's always been a massive acceptance of Cape York Land Council, Barclay New Cape York Corporation. When we go to 1 William Street to talk to DTMR at the highest level, you know, I mean, the, the relationship and the friendship and the trust that's been built up since 2015, you, you just, you can't put a value on that. Forget about the money. You can't put a value on the relationship that has been created, which has never happened before. You know, I hope and I pray that moving forward, indigenous opportunities and the relationship just strengthens and strengthens and strengthens. You know, we've proven that we're as good as any contractor and DDMR to put that trust in us, just incredible. The advice I would be giving them is, you know, work, work with the agencies in the Queensland government. You have to work with the agencies, don't feel as if, you know, it's too hard, because it's never too hard. You just got to show respect from both sides.